Thais Wilson grew up in a home where every bed was covered with a beautiful, cozy comforter. She kept that tradition alive in her own home, but in a busy household with pets, kids, and the occasional food and drink spill on the bed, Wilson saw a problem in need of a solution. There's nothing out there that allows us to take off just that portion, the most used portion of your comforter, and be able to conveniently wash it. Finally, Wilson came up with an idea, a durable, reversible comforter that covered only the top surface of the bed. When it got soiled, a quick trip through a standard household washer and dryer would make it as good as new. And she was determined to build a business around that product. I got on the internet, I did my research about U.S. manufacturers. I mean, I was determined. I, there is a manufacturer in the United States that can do this product for me. I already had um, a wonderful woman to make me a prototype, and she made me a twin. After still more internet research, Wilson was ready to take her dream on the road. One day in January 2012, I got packed my van up, and I got my prototype. I had a list of 28 manufacturers that I could visit in four states, uh, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. 27 of the 28 factories turned her down outright. They said her design was too complex for what they were set up to do, and even if they could do it, the cost would push the finished product beyond what the market would bear. What was I to do? And I'm like, This is our United States manufacturers. What am I to do? And they all told me, with the exception of this one company, to go to China. Dealing with the only firm that didn't turn her down outright turned into a long, painful kabuki dance, Wilson says. First, they said they could do it at one price. Then they told her they'd have to double that figure. Finally, they said they weren't interested and, as had the other companies, urged her to have the work done in China. In desperation, Wilson took her project to a trade show in Miami where there were dozens of overseas manufacturers vying for American business. That's where she met a married couple from China who owned a small factory there. I just fell in love with them. I fell in love with them. As old as I am, I I just wanted to say, would you adopt me? You all are adorable. The couple agreed to produce a small test run of Wilson's comforters at the original price point she wanted and took her prototype with them back to China. What happened next was totally unexpected. I was shocked. They traveled from China to Tallahassee to come see me. And um, I took them to Governor Square Mall. And they were teaching me about fabrics. They were teaching me how to, you know, touch and feel quality fabrics, sewing, stitching. But they're teaching me the stuff so that I can make better decisions for a better product. Last month, Wilson returned the favor and visited the couple's production plant in China. She found it clean, efficient, and staffed by workers who in no way resembled slave laborers. Now that Chinese factory is ready to mass-produce Wilson's comfortable bed toppers, as she calls them, a combination of the words comforter and convertible, all that's needed is the financing. So she's launched a Kickstarter campaign with the goal of raising $5,000. Well, I want the people to touch and feel it. I want them, I want to educate the people on how useful this product is. You know, it, it, to, to just go to the bank and get a microloan, it, I feel like it excludes me talking to the people. Wilson sees her dream within reach, although she still regrets one part of that dream, to bring a made-in-the-USA product to market, wasn't possible. I'm a proud American, but then when the Americans say, you might want to go to China... What do you do? And then when they say, okay, we'll do it for this price, and then they double it, and then they say, well, we changed your mind. Good luck. What do you do? For Thais Wilson, the answer to that question is simply, you do what you can. For WFSU News, I'm Tom Flanagan.